is the Lincoln Aviator, a seven-seater family SUV that costs 320,000 dirhams and goes up against cars like the Cadillac XT6, the Infiniti QX60 and the Volvo XC90. It looks great from the outside, but let's jump right in and take it for a spin. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, doesn't Lincoln already have a seven-seater family SUV, the Navigator? Why did they go and build another seven-seater family SUV? And the answer is quite simple really, because although the Aviator is a seven-seater family SUV, it is a lot smaller than the Navigator. And so what they've been able to accomplish is that they've been able to offer the same level of quality and craftsmanship at a far more affordable price. So is this more affordable SUV any good to drive? Yes, it is. And that is because the three liter twin turbocharged V6 puts out 400 horsepower and 562 Newton meters of torque. Those are big numbers for a family SUV. To put it into perspective, picture this. The Aviator only puts out 50 horsepower less than the mighty Ford Raptor. So we've established that it has power, but you're probably wondering what else it has. With Lincoln being a luxury brand and with the Aviator being a luxury SUV, it has been fitted with a 10-speed automatic transmission that shifts through gears extremely smoothly. It's like the engine and the gearbox are in a synchronized waltz, shifting through gears without the driver ever realizing what is actually going on. When you do want it to wake up and shove you into the back of your seat, the Aviator is fitted with five different drive modes, with each making adjustments to the stiffness of the ride, the ride height, the steering, the engine, and the transmission. Since the Aviator is also fitted with a deep sand mode, it can be used for some mild off-road action. Having said that, it is on the road where the Aviator truly shines. It is fitted with adaptive suspension and a feature called Road Preview that uses a camera mounted on the windscreen to see what lies ahead and prepare the suspension accordingly. So let's say if you were driving on a set of rumble strips before reaching a roundabout, you'd look out of your window and see other cars bouncing or shaking as they drive over them but not the Aviator. The Aviator just glides over them like you're driving over a patch of freshly paved road. When it comes to interior design and features, this is the Presidential model, which is the highest of four available versions here in the UAE. In the past, Lincolns did tend to suffer, and that's because people looked at them as refurbished Fords. But that really isn't the case anymore. For instance, this Aviator looks and feels like a premium car in every way possible. The slim and sleek design of the dashboard does make the cabin feel very spacious. The seats are extremely comfortable, and that is because they offer 30-way power adjustment. That is right, everything from the cushion to the backrest to the lumbar to the headrest is adjustable, and that too electrically. Space in the back is better than expected, and the seats do slide forwards and backwards. Speaking of the seats, they are split with a 40-20-40 split, meaning that you can perfectly accommodate a mix of cargo and occupants. For those in the back, there are privacy shades on either sides and a screen from which they can heat and cool the rear seats, control the climate control system, as well as control the audio system. In addition to that, there's also USB charging outlets and a 240 volt outlet to connect things like a laptop or perhaps even a vacuum cleaner and clean the car up. On the feature side, and since this is the full option model, it really does have every feature imaginable. 360 degree cameras, check. Heads up display, check. Panoramic roof, check. Blind spot monitoring, check. Soft closing doors, check. Wireless charger, check. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, check and check. And even with all of this and more, the Aviator does have a few more standout features. 
the first of which is a Revel Ultima 3D sound system. It has 28 speakers, but that isn't what makes it special. What makes it special is that it has 127 steps of adjustment, meaning you can tune the sound exactly the way you like. The other standout feature is the Aviator's self-driving tech. Fitted with many sensors and cameras all around the vehicle, the Aviator does a great job of driving itself down a highway with or without any traffic. It is fitted with features like adaptive cruise control, brake assist, steering assist and lane centering that aren't just present but work brilliantly together. From the outside, I really do feel like the Aviator is one of Lincoln's nicest looking models. It looks classy and elegant, but sporty and aggressive at the same time. This grey colour that we have really does add to its appeal, as do the Pixel LED headlights and the huge 22-inch machined alloy wheels. Like all new Lincoln models, the Aviator does get the brand's signature grille with the light-up Lincoln logo. But what is unique about it is that it does have active grille shutters hidden behind it. What those do is that they open up if the engine needs extra cooling or they close when driving down the highway for better aerodynamic efficiency. At 320,000 dirhams, the Lincoln Aviator is a lot of car for the money. It's great to drive, it's got a lot of cool tech, and most of all, it isn't a boring family SUV. So, which one would you have? The Aviator or one of its rivals? Let me know in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.